the media is working for these cartels who are who want to lock out everybody, who want to lock out the no ordinary person, the hustler, who want to keep the prices high as it has been historically, and they will do anything possible to scuttle any need to move. Hon Honorable uh, CS, you are making very grave uh, uh, allegations. And uh, the rules that apply in this house are that you should be able to substantiate uh, any allegation that you make before this house. One of the allegations you're making is that um, there are five companies that run like a cartel. Secondly, that uh, these companies are sponsoring headlines. Honorable Sears, those allegations, if you cannot prove them, kindly drop them. If you can prove them, go ahead and give us factual basis of those allegations. Mr. Speaker, last Sunday, I was engaging a journalist who wanted clarification about some of the issues that we are discussing here today. Mr. Speaker, the name of that journalist is Gerard Andai from uh, Daily Nation and Business Daily. And I asked him, Mr. Andai, I find it difficult to continue giving you answers because even when we provide the correct information about Eddie Boel, you continue to write negative stories. That gentleman from the nation, Mr. Speaker, told me, I have received from Ms. Pamela Mutua, the CEO of KNTC, all the answers and the trends of the downward spiral of edible oil prices. But every time I write the correct truth, my editors tell me that all they want is a negative story. Mr. Speaker, that conversation did not happen verbally. That conversation happened over WhatsApp, so I have got evidence to substantiate. I submit, Mr. Speaker. Okay, now, uh, Honorable CS and Honorable Members, statements in the media are inadmissible and they do not speak to the accuracy of any matter that can be discussed in this House. And therefore, as you rise to ask supplementary questions, don't refer to any statement in the press.